Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm out fishing with two setups. You'll only see one of them in this video. Uh, that's because it's right, right, right at the end of the river season. Just got a couple of days left and uh, I'm desperately, desperately trying to get um, as many videos done as I can before the season ends. So fingers crossed I'll be able to get two done in a couple of sessions. So I brought with me a fly jig, jig fly rod and a micro jigging rod. Now today the session that you're going to be seeing is with the micro jigs. Now what I'm doing is targeting micro pike as you can probably tell by the title and the thumbnail um, but we're happy for whatever comes really. Like I say end of the season we're happy to catch whatever swims. So I'm using small jig flies which I've tied up myself and small little um, creature baits and little grubs. No, soft plastics. So stick to the artificials on the jig light jigging setup. So fingers crossed we'll get a few fish. I've already caught a couple so I know there is going to be a video to be made today um, and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's crack on with a session. I'll run it for myself in a little bit. Let's get going. And a little pike. A little bit of a flooded area where the rivers come up into the banks. Really tricky to get to. Just kind of a little tiny micro jig, probably one inch jig. Very tricky to get to. Got him. We got him. Little flooded area. <laughs> Probably only a couple inches deep, few inches deep. Yeah, probably three inches deep tops. Always got wrapped up. Don't, don't, don't come off. He just wrapped himself up. Beautiful jack pike cotton, a little homemade micro jig fly. Awesome little pike. Probably not even a pound, maybe 10 ounce, 11 ounce, something like that. Awesome little guy. Let's get this little jig out, it's just a little size 10 jig. And a beautiful, beautiful little pike. Awesome fish in it. I love these little guys. Oh, wait, there we go. Back up like a snake in that water. Like I say, it's only a few inches deep. Them little guys can be proper savage. Oh, well that's not a pike. <laughs> not a bad perch, though. Thought I thought something didn't get there. Like that. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at the colours of those fins. Absolutely perfect. And that's looked another one of my own made jigs, jig flies. Beautiful perch, isn't it? Got him. <laughs> Just tapping it right on the bottom. Not a bad size that one. On the ultra light gear. A little bit bigger than that last perch. Still not a micro pike, but I'll take it. Look at them colours. Awesome fish. Once again, a little homemade jig fly.
Really, really slow at the minute. Really slow. I just reached my arm out. So I had the rod length from the arm. And that's all I were doing. <laughs> and just jiggling it around on the bottom. Oh, I spooked the other ones now. There's a couple of fish down there, but they're definitely spooked. Tiny, tiny pike attack it. It would be the smallest pike I've ever caught on a hook and line. I missed it again. Oh, I really want that fish. It is tiny. Might have been about two inches of water. Got it. We got it. Definitely the smallest pike I've ever caught on a rod and line. I've caught them with nets as a kid before. That is tiny. Look at the size of that fish. Oh, I just realised I'm recording. I thought I'd not stop recording there. Oh, let's get a better look at him. That is a beauty. Honestly, I'd rather catch a pike this size on ultralight gear than a five pound pike on the heavy gear any day. Just, I've got a thing for little pike. I just think they're amazing little fish. And obviously the future of the species. Look at that, probably about a hand and a half long, probably about 23 centimetres, something like that, 24 centimetres. Awesome little fish, can't even chin him, look, can't even chin him. Oh, can just get my finger under there. Get a very quick picture for Insta and we'll get moving and see if we can find any more fish. Really, really glad to have caught that fish. It's like the smaller fish, the better. It's a little worm little crazy fish worm look at the sides of it such a cute in it yeah, straight under the snakes you stay under there there's a few bigger pike hanging around <laughs> don't want you getting eaten buddy Got a fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. On the micro jig. Oh God, it's ripping out wide. On the ultralight gear. For the micro jack bike. Just got it ripped away. It's gotta be a pike. It's definitely not a purge. Oh yeah, I've not got a net with me because I've got waders. <laughs> what an idiot, I'm gonna have to get in water to get it. But it's a nice size pike. It's gone under a snag, whatever it is. Yeah, gone right under a snag. Give it some slack. I'm not going to be able to get it back. It's a big fish, whatever it was. Oh, it's still on. So we got the snag. All right. Put up a really good fight. Really good fight. Oof, what is this? Oh, it's a chub. Oh, it is a chub. Oh, really nice chub. Look at that fish. No, oh, that's made the video, that is. I know I like catching micro pack, but look at that. I don't think I've got my scales on me either, but that is a five pound chub all day on a little micro jig. Oh, God, I can't get him. That's, that's a big chub. Can't even grab him. Wow. Big job. That's five pound all day. That's probably five and a half. Getting on for six pound. Micro jig in his mouth there, look. That is a big fish. Here we are. Camera set up. Beautiful job. Easily over five pound. Caught on a little micro jig. There we are. Just gave him a little dunk. Some people want to come over and check him out. Right, let's get him back. He has made the video. That 
rope was up big and strong. He uh, almost straightened out my chicken. So I've got some plates. If I can get him reaching to me where he is. We'll straighten it back out. So always straighten your jiggers back out if they bend out. There's nothing wrong with that. There we go. It's as good as new. Still sharp. Seeing as though I had that chub and a little grub, I think I've got that same bait in my pocket. I wouldn't drop it. I think it's my last one of that type I've got actually. a little crazy fish I thought it was one and a half inch but it's probably about two inch makes all the difference doesn't it let's thread that on there there we go easy presentation Put the Casper cat let's see if we can see anything else down there I know I'm after micro pike but I'll take big chub anyway cast it into that slain like, oh, I'm tangled up a little bit over my rod tip. Best sort that out first. Let's do exactly the same as what I did before. Cast that into a bit of a slack quarter and just gently, gently just jig it. It's vibrating the rod tip, dragging it along the bottom. And there's a lot of snags down there. That chub did go into a snag when I first hooked it. Got a fish. We got a fish. Doesn't feel like a chill, feels like a perch. Oh yeah, it's a nice chunky perch. Got to add a few more casts down there now. I didn't think I was going to get anything else. Really, really fat. One of the fattest perch I've had in a long time. Look at that belly. Really nice red fins. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that. Amazing colours on it. Okay, in that sunlight. A little grub just there in the corner of its mouth. Let's get it unhooked. Some little crazy fish. Two inch grub. There we go. Awesome, awesome fish. Like I say, look at the colours on that. She's not breaking any records, but it's a really nice fish. There we go. A little chunky. That look at more casts now. Genuinely, that was going to be my last cast. No, us anglers like to say that, but it really was. Oh, nice perch. Absolutely crushed it. Little micro jig just working on a bit of slag water. Awesome perch. Great size to it. Come on, fella. Oh, lassie, whichever you are. We got it. Oh, beautiful fish. Not quite a two pounder, but great fight on ultralight gear. Probably about a pound and a half, something like that. Once again, really great condition, really good colours. A little bit of a warped top fin. Once again, a little micro jig. There we go. What a beautiful little fish. I'm saying low, but it's decent, isn't it? Great scrap on that ultralight rod. I've kind of moved off of catching small pine on to a very long fish. Should have bought something to measure it with lengthwise, it's pretty long. Cool, let's get him back. Beautiful specimen though. Nom nom nom. Great big gob on it. 
I don't know whether that's male or female because it's quite skinny. Couldn't imagine that being a female ready to spawn. Could just be a big male fish and it's just jumped out my hands. I was gonna I was gonna show that to the big camera, but it just started to jump away. Oh, that was cool. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it and don't forget to check out more content on my channel if you like. I've done lots more videos like this. There'll be more videos like this coming in the future. The wind's getting up now, I'm gonna to have to call it quits and it's potentially the end of the river season for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys later.